They don't have any any business dictating. Gary Sullivan is mad at the Boise City Council for passing a smoking ban. Now customers who used to light up inside his restaurant and lounge will no longer be allowed to. First, it could it could put me out of business. But Sullivan says the ban is about more than smoking and the loss of business. He says it's about the loss of his rights. As a as a property owner and a business owner, I have that right to determine whether or not I want to smoke in my place or not. That's that that's one of the most important deals about our Bill of Rights is the right of free choice. And when they take that away from us, what's next? Sullivan is taking his fight to court. He's spearheading a lawsuit against the city of Boise and says there are 80 other businesses who will join in. We've got uh, we've got two or three attorneys and all different kinds of court action and uh, uh, I think the 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 coup de gras will be a recall of the mayor and the entire city council. But other bars and clubs don't mind the ban. China Blue voluntarily banned smoking almost two years ago, even though 20 to 30 percent of its customers smoked. Owner Ted Challenger told us he made the decision based on health concerns and says it's paid off. Financially, my, my numbers are up 30 percent during a recession time, which I'm not going to complain about. Um, labor's down. We don't spend so much time cleaning ashtrays. Ashtrays have only been allowed outside the Crescent No Lawyers Bar and Grill since August, when it voluntarily banned smoking. Smokers can puff away inside this tent, but not inside the bar. We have a lot of people that want to come in and eat now that it's a non-smoking establishment. 